Hello friends and welcome to my channel if you are new or welcome back if you are back. Either way, thank you so so much for tuning in today. If you are new, my name is Rabbit and my pronouns are they them. Today's video is so so freaking exciting you guys. Okay, I don't know what's been happening lately but I've been so lucky on Facebook Marketplace with a bunch of stuff. Like honestly with shoes and with dolls but this video is not about shoes, this one's about dolls. And it's about dolls that I found recently and like through my Facebook marketplace and also through just like the thrift store and stuff. But I have so many dream dolls that I found that like I never thought would be in my collection and now I finally do and it's like incredible and amazing and I never thought we would be here seeing this day and I like oh I can't wait to show you guys. So. Let's go through them all because I just can't wait to clean them up and I want to show you guys like the like a cleaning process a little bit because I've done that before but I do get questions sometimes of like can you do a video cleaning your dolls? So this is going to be part of that and then also part just showing you guys whomst I got. Uh, so feel free to skip around in the timestamps if you're interested but otherwise let's get into whomst is new. Okay so the ones that literally just like made me be like okay I need to make this video like right away are from this morning. Okay, so I feel so bad. I messaged this lady at 2.45 in the morning because I was scrolling on Facebook Marketplace and I saw these two dolls and they were listed for $50 total. And um, normally my rule for myself is that I don't spend more than $10 per doll if they're like fully clothed, but these ones were like really special and I break that rule for special dolls. So I never thought I'd have these in my collection. I lost my mind when I saw the listing and I was so grateful that the lady replied to me even though it was 2.45 in the morning. She let me pick them up and I like got them this morning and I was just like driving with Frankie just like in my life like hey girl like I'm so excited for you to live with me. So like I can't wait to show you guys. I got freaking Donna the Dance Traculora. Hi gorgeous angel obsessed with her she's so pretty i have no clue i mean i'm guessing these are probably draculaura shoes originally but i've never seen them before so yeah that's like super fun and she has her original dress and one of her cufflinks um, but in this video i'm also going to modify accessories that i have to suit her or kind of just like see in my toy box like what i have that will kind of complete the dawn of the dance outfit and make the rest or like make what i can i'm so happy she has her dress it's such nice condition so sparkly and beautiful i'm like oh my god she's so pretty i love her makeup the black eyeshadow with the black lipstick incredible i think Dracu Locker also has like black lipstick, but I don't think we have that many um, Dracula dolls that have like super dark lipstick and it just looks so pretty on her. I mean like her original obviously. Basically her original is the only other one that I have that has like really dark lipstick. So exciting, so exciting. Okay and then Frankie. Frankie has like most of her stuff which is ridiculous because these dolls came out 10 years ago you guys so the fact that like she has almost everything I was like losing my mind. She's very dirty so I will be sure to clean her up nice and well and take some really pretty good before and after pics for you guys. But yeah okay look she has both of her earrings. She's missing her necklace but that's okay. She has her beautiful little pink latexy, I don't know what you would call this, mini sweater. She has her belt. She has her gorgeous dress and I've never seen it in person but it has like these kind of tiny little dots on it and like the buckles on her belt are like real metallic looking. Her fishnets are perfect. She's wearing like Claudine shoes I'm guessing from like the color and the, the general aesthetic of them but oh my god. Oh and she has her bracelet too which is crazy. Oh my god, I'm so excited to clean up these girls. Like, these are literally, I never thought I would find them for, like, an affordable price or, like, reasonable. And I know 25 might be, like, a lot for a doll for, like, some people, but I, I couldn't put a price on these girls. So happy with these ones. Literally made my day. I could not believe that I was able to snag them. Like, so happy. Okay, this was, I think, yesterday day before yesterday. Like I said, I've just been getting ridiculously lucky. But this is another set that I never thought I would see. And someone posted them on Facebook Marketplace, the two of them with just like a bunch of random like Barbie extras and like just like some random like clothes and stuff like that. And it was for $20 for the whole lot. And I was really surprised that it was still available. And I told her like, hey, I don't need the Barbie extras. Like you can just have those. But she like gave them to me anyway, which was really nice. But I think I'll just donate them. But regardless, can you imagine? Can you believe? Fierce Rockers, Caddy Noir, and Torlai. But frick! I never thought I'd have these dolls. The makeup 
immaculate. I can't wait to fix the hair and make it really pretty. I love like the blue under dye. It's incredibly gorgeous. The fact that she has this like little blue like bra top popping out under her jumpsuit is incredible. The latexy plasticky part of her jumpsuit is wild. The fact that like all this shimmery holographic fabric is like still looking perfectly in place. It looks like so broken mirror and perfect. She has her cuff on her one arm. Um, she is missing like her big long body chain thing, but that's okay, we'll live. Um, and I think these are her original boots, but I'm not super sure. But oh my God, she's incredible. I, oh my God, Caddy and Silver is just like something else. I, I never thought I'd have this doll. I like, I, I, because I, I think she was like a JCPenney exclusive or some sort of exclusive somewhere. So I never thought she'd be in my reach, especially because they're so stupid expensive if you get them like on eBay and stuff. And then Torlai, this is my favorite Torlai I've ever seen. Oh my god, Torlai with black lipstick, this incredible blue like turquoise eye makeup that's like so intense like glam rock kind of situation and I just I love it for Torlai. Her hair with like the black and orange, I've never seen it with these streaks and it looks incredible. Um, she has one of her bangles. This dress is like pretty simple. It looks really incredible when she has her, which I'm gonna call it the blue piece that goes behind, but I don't have it, that's okay. We'll live. I'm gonna put her in like some little jacket and then she's wearing these like Claudine shoes that are really pretty and gold. Oh my God, yeah, I never thought I would have this set. And the fact that they were 20 bucks and I got a bunch of like random extra stuff, ridiculous I especially because after I went home like after I got them I went home and I looked on eBay for Pierce Rockers Torlight and there were people like trying to sell her for like 400 bucks 300 bucks and I was like oh my god like literally got so lucky I can't even the lady was super nice and the other things that I kept from what she gave me was like this Claudine dress which is the one that goes with the shoes I don't know what doll brand this is from but I think it's so cute it's like a little checkered jacket i think it would suit venus really well so i think that's who's gonna end up wearing it and then i kept some of these little barbie accessories that she gave me so there's like this little barbie backpack a pair of headphones a little water bottle that has like a little heart cut out at the top that's cute and a camera i thought that was a good prop oh my gosh no way the lens comes off that's crazy huh or like not the lens yeah no it's a lens yeah, the lens comes off. That's that's wild. Oh my god. Donna the Ants and Fierce Rockers. I lost my mind. Okay, the other incredible, incredible find that I got. This was like a couple of weeks ago, but I literally, I couldn't contain myself. Like they've been displayed out and about because like normally when I get new dolls, I try to like keep them all in a box so I can show them to you guys all at once and then clean them all at once. But I like could not with these girls because they've been my dream dolls for so long. I never thought I'd find them again for an affordable price. They were 30 bucks and they came with some extra bits and bobs, but I'll show you who it is first. Oh my God lost my mind. These girls are incredible. And I know that not everyone's into the Create a Monster, but I think that everyone agrees that the Create a Monster ice girl with her clear limbs that have like geometric shapes and the blob girl with her sparkly pink skin and this like incredible wig that has like all the goo all over it i can't so they look really good in each other's outfits but like i think these ladies are so cool because like ice girl has like all this clear clear stuff and you can like obviously mix them out so they're like pink and blue mismatched whatever i put them but like yeah they're both clear she's like gooey and sparkly she's like clear and has like geometric stuff drippy blob shoes just like plain black heels, this like icicle dress, this like splat dress. They look so pretty together. I just, I never thought that I'd find these girls for an affordable price. I never thought I'd find them in my area. The fact that they were 30 bucks and they came with some other Create a Monster pieces. Like, I love these girls. I, yeah, I freaked out when I saw them listed and I was so scared that someone else was gonna snap them up. And yeah, I, they didn't and I got them and I'm so happy because like I feel like every time I see these girls It's always in like some Facebook marketplace listing where someone's selling like a bunch of dolls And they're just like thrown in there and then you'll look at the description and it'll be like blue and pink girl have sold them it's like, mm, So annoying. So yeah, finally have my blue and pink girl. I love them so much. I think they're so cute I'm literally like lost my mind. Um, so I'll just show you really quick the other things that they came with. This wig, who I temporarily put on. She looks kind of like she has a Laguna face sculpt. So I think this is like a sea creature. Oh no, maybe she's like the Velociraptor. Yeah, okay, because it also came with these legs that have three feet. 
She's kind of like a lizard person, maybe? But yeah, she just has like pink skin and like wide eyes and like a little pointy nose and like these little three-legged feet. So I think that she's some sort of like lizardy person. And then we also got this dress for the bee creative monster. And she came with her wig. Sorry, it won't focus. Her glasses that look so cute. And we also got Miss Bee's wings and her black and yellow arms and legs. I used to not display my creative monsters and now that I have more shelf space it's like so nice to be able to actually do that because they're so cool especially the Frightfully in Love like Frightfully Fierce like that one. I have that one. I found her also on Facebook Marketplace and she's like the prettiest thing I've ever seen. It also came with this random leg. It's just like a left leg for a creative monster. So yeah that was an amazing deal for 30 bucks. So yeah those are like the pride and joys that I can't believe I freaking found lost my mind on Facebook Marketplace that I just needed to get out of the way first and now I can show you guys the rest of whom I got and these ones are all from the thrift store so I tried to keep most of them in their original packaging so this one it was seven dollars it's Halloween with the pink hair I still have zero Halloween's like original Halloween's with the orange hair which is so sad because that doll is so cute I think I have some pieces of her outfit her original outfit. I think I have her shorts, but I don't actually have the doll, which is sad. Since all my dolls are like secondhand, like I'll, I'll often get like different accessories and different dolls and different lots that eventually like come together to form a complete doll, which is always like nice and serendipitous. So I hope one day I get an orange instead of a pink haired one, but she's pretty. Her makeup is very sweet. I don't think this is a monster high dress. I think this is maybe like Barbie or Ever After High or something like that, but her makeup is really sweet. Her hair color is really pretty. This was the color that my hair just was that I wanted to like so much but I just didn't I don't think it looked good on me but she's cute pink eyeshadow pink lipstick is this a dance class Halloween no maybe I don't know I think I have a dance class Halloween it doesn't look like her I got another pink haired Halloween and um, this is 13 wishes Halloween so cute such an underrated character her and Twyla one of my favorite monster high ships honestly oh this is so cute she came with like her hat still on which is awesome and she has one little fishnet glove precious bangles her original dress which is great because um i have this dress but the person that i bought it from cut it up so i have it in like pieces which is very sad and she came with her original boots which are really cute i'm wondering if she had leggings originally with this outfit because it looks not complete but i might be confused. Either way, it's a really cute outfit. I can't wait to, for her to join the wolf family and her sisters. Oh my gosh, her face print is really nice. So she has like purple eyeshadow, pink lipstick, really cute face. Oh my gosh, I kind of want to display a Twyla and a Halloween together. Since I've had dolls, I usually display them color coordinated. Like I try to put like all the pinkish ones on one shelf, all the bluish ones on one shelf and so on and so forth. But there's some that I like need to have together. Like I need a Twyla and a Halloween just like in my room together for ship purposes, you know? Anyway, also in the $4.99 Halloween bag was Galita's little suitcase from Scaris. This is so cute. I've always found the Scaris suitcases to be like such beautiful pieces. So detailed and I love how much thought they put into the accessories. Like the fact that there's like a spine on the back, the fact that like the pullout thing has like these cool bones and stuff. Like I, I can't, it's so cool. All the flowers and like the candles. It's just incredibly beautiful. Got an extra one of these because I'm pretty sure, yes, I have one already, but maybe I could repaint this one because I've seen some people repaint Monster High Furniture and it's like the prettiest thing ever, but I'm always scared to do it when I only have one. Then also I got this doll that I just took out of the package because I wanted to like double check and make sure that I knew who she was. And she's one that I don't have and didn't have before and it's so exciting. It's Frankie, obviously. I'm trying to remember. I think it's Killer. Oh no. Is it Killer Style Frankie? Oh no, where's my phone? I'll insert what it is. But I wanted this Frankie for like quite a long time because her makeup and her hair is so unique. It's okay, so makeup is like dark teal lipstick, dark teal eyeshadow, and then hair is just like this, all the black is just in the front at the top. Face is just perfect. She came with this like random black t-shirt that doesn't really look like a Monster High shirt, so I'll be sure to dress something more appropriate. Um, but yeah, I think I might actually have some of the outfits that this doll is supposed to come with, because I thought it was kind of like a fashion pack sort of doll, but I might be wrong, I might be completely confused, but Oh my gosh, I never thought I'd have that Frankie. That's so cool. Another doll that I'm so excited to have. She was $6 and I didn't know how much I wanted her until I saw her at the thrift store and I was just like, oh my God, 
I need her. Like, she's actually so pretty. Because I've never been that much of a fan of the Friday Night Frights, like the roller skating, the, the, I don't remember what that doll line is called, but the doll line where they're all on their roller skates. I never really liked that doll line that much because I just don't care that much for athletics of any kind. But this Claudine, and ignore the fact that her hands are Venuses, this Claudine is so freaking pretty. And I never knew what Claudines that have like purple hair, like predominantly purple hair. And I know that there's like a little bit of green in it. I wish it was like all this lavender purple because it just looks so good on her. The glittery eyeshadow, the pink lipstick, the cut of this dress, I've never looked at it like closely. It's gorgeous. I freaking love it. This doll is so pretty. And I think she's wearing some like mm, Equestria Girls shoes, which is nice to know that they fit Monster High pretty well because sometimes I'll see Equestria Girls shoes and I'm like, should I? get those because I like them, but I don't know that they'll actually fit the Monster High dolls. But now that I see them on, it's good to know that. This is such a cute doll. I can't wait to add her to the Claudine collection because yeah, most of the Claudines I have are brunettes and I think she looks incredible with lavender hair like this. I think the only other one like this was Freak Du Chic. She might have had lavender hair. This is really great to see. Oh, this is so pretty on her. Oh my God, I love that. Okay. I used to love the look of like really intense eye makeup and then really pale pinkish or like nude or like dead colored lipstick. So I love that she's rocking that okay okay this one is fun um i hear that she's pretty hard to find some other places but i swear to god i see her all the time where i'm from because i live in canada and apparently she was like an exclusive to canada but it's roadster draculaura she's really really cute she has a really adorable hairstyle like me like my like second or third she is such a gorgeous doll excited to dress her up get her cute give her a new life yeah she was she was four dollars and i love her and my earring keeps falling out because i'm not hooking it into my ear just Two left. So first, this one's exciting because I always love a Spectre doll. Always sad when they don't come with their original hands. Big pet peeve of mine with Spectre dolls because arguably her hands are like the best part. Like her hands and her arms because they're clear. But still, love a good Spectre doll. Her face sculpt is incredibly gorgeous to me. The high cheekbones are everything. I think this is Dot Dead Gorgeous Spectra. Um, she's pretty common in my area. I've seen many, many of her, but she's wearing a really cute outfit. So I think this is like Laguna's Dead Tired shirt. Not sure whose pants these are, probably not even Monster High. This belt looks like Ever After High, like the um, winter lady. I forget her name. But yeah, she is very dirty. I'm excited to clean her up. Spectre is so pretty. And unfortunately, with having like the palest skin ever, her face shows dirt really easily. And unfortunately, her hair gets really messy. So I'm really excited to show you guys her all cleaned up because like, look at this. It's all just knots and mess and not fun stuff. Okay. And last but not least, because my camera is overheating, I found a fear leading or school spirit Venus. She is super common in my area. Find her all the time. The main reason I got her, she is five bucks by the way, is because I don't have a scarce Frankie suitcase. And it's such a cool freaking suitcase. Look at that. With the lightning bolts and the bolts and nuts and like the front, it's so freaking pretty. I really, really like it. Um, my camera's gonna overheat, so I'm gonna show you guys cleaning up. Literally so therapeutic and fun for me. So let's get on to it. I'll see you soon. All right, so we're starting by removing all the hands, jewelry, clothes, accessories, and basically anything that is on the dolls and separating it into clothes that we will wash, clothes that we will not wash, and their little accessories. I'm filling up a bowl with some warm water and laundry detergent, and I'm not washing any of the clothes that have any sort of like loose glitter or vinyl or kind of materials that may come off, uh, like Rochelle's original skirt like I would not wash that with laundry detergent because it will mess it up. I know from experience. You can put some OxyClean and fabric softener into the water as well. Let all the clothes sit in the warm water while you are washing the rest of the dolls. So for the dolls that have super greasy hair, I'm starting by taking some baby powder. You can also use cornstarch and working that into the roots specifically where they have the worst glue seepage and like oiliness. Being super liberal with it, setting those aside and letting it sit while I do the rest of them. You don't have to do this step, but I find it helps absorb a lot of the oiliness from the glue that tends to come out of older Monster High dolls. Once they've sat for a while, I'm ready to wash the dolls. If the doll has bangs, I start by holding the bangs back with a plastic band. Uh, just a small one from the dollar store works really well. And then with a little bit of dish soap and a clean toothbrush, I'm scrubbing down her whole body and face, just getting into all the nooks and crannies and crevices. 
Next, I use the dish soap on her hair, and you can also use shampoo after you use the dish soap. The greasier the doll is, the more I recommend using multiple products. So with this one, I am using first a layer of dish soap and then a layer of shampoo, then letting the shampoo sit while I work on the next doll. And I repeat the process for every single one, basically scrubbing down the face and body with the toothbrush and dish soap, uh, using some dish soap and then shampoo in the hair and letting it sit while I work on the rest of them. To me, this is super therapeutic. You can wear dish gloves if you're worried about having this much water and soap on your hands. If the doll has really loose legs and they have elastics, I like to twist the leg in circles so it kind of tightens the elastic. You can't th do this too many times because it will snap eventually, but I find it's like kind of a temporary fix for those loose legs that older dolls can tend to get. I feel like you can usually tell if the doll's hair will be styled a specific way because of the way that hair is colored with Monster High dolls. So for example, for this Frankie, I'm just pinning her bangs in the front and washing them separately. Once everyone sat with shampoo on their hair for a while, I can wash out the shampoo and lay a really thick layer of conditioner on. I just use whatever I have in the house. When everyone has conditioner in, I just let the dolls sit for like at least two hours before moving on to the next step. And then I use a comb starting at the base of the hair and then working my way up to work out all of the tangles that are in there while the hair is still wet with a bunch of conditioner and i'm just continuing that with all of my dolls once all the tangles are out i just rinse it out super super well and then get to combing if you can find a comb that has wider teeth on one side and thinner teeth on the other side and start with the wider teeth and then work your way up that will reduce the amount of hair that you're going to pull out but just be patient and work with little sections at a time and start from the bottom and i guess those are my best tips to not pull out too much hair but still get uh, a nice result i'd also recommend not using too warm of water especially near the scalp because that will exacerbate the glue seepage for dolls that have ponytails i do like to style their hair into the ponytail that they will eventually have when their hair is drying. I also find it helpful to kind of use your hands to smooth out the hair um, while it's still wet. Basically the important thing is the position in which the hair dries. So if you kind of use your fingers to squeeze out the water and straighten the hair, if you want it to be straight, that's kind of like a helpful thing. Later I'll show how to like boil wash straighten the hair and also how to curl the hair. A toothbrush can also be a really handy tool in this um, scenario and you can always use some hair gel or watered down hair gel. It's time to rinse out their clothes really well with some warm water and I like to use a clothes hanger as a way to make them dry in the correct position. Um, just lay that up overnight and then I can take all their little accessories and hands and stuff and wash those out with my dishwashing liquid and some warm water. I'd recommend plugging the sink, especially if you're worried about losing tiny things like earrings and such. So everyone is laying out to dry. The ones who have ponytails, I like to just put their hair in ponytails while they dry because otherwise it gets weird curls and stuff in it. Um, everyone else, I tried to just lie super flat and give a good brush before I laid them down. Sorry for the awkward positioning, I just don't like the ponytails. I need them to be drying in the air and not like touching the ground. And all the accessories are just drying. And tuna, <laughs> I need you to not, please. Anyway, so um, once they're all dry tomorrow, we can redress them, do their hair properly, and I'm really excited to see how they all turn out. It's the next day, everyone's dry. I'm gonna transfer them to the craft room and comb everyone's hair and try to fix them all up. All right, so since everyone's hair has been rinsed out and combed when it, the conditioner was in there, you shouldn't have any issues with combing it out again. Um, I find that doll hair has this like kind of plasticky cast to it when you first wash it. So if you like that, you can keep it. But if you don't, you can brush it out and it'll kind of have just like this nice silky smooth texture. And I can redress all my dolls and they're looking so nice in their fresh, clean clothes. Oh my gosh, this is like one of my most exciting things. I have also a lot of like doll clothes locked so for dolls that didn't have proper outfits or outfits that I like, I can rummage through my miscellaneous bags and look for clothes that might suit them. One of my favorites in this was Spectra. I think she looks amazing in Rebecca's shirt and this skirt from a Creator Monster doll. I know I've been getting a lot of comments lately about when I'm gonna do more Monster High content and I honestly have so many opinions and thoughts and feelings about the reboot but part of me is really worried that it's like too late because um, everyone's already put their two cents in and like feel like 
the opinions are already out there about like the movie and the animation and like all the new stuff that's going on the dolls and the Rochelle collector doll that's coming out and like Frankenstein dolls and like whatever whatever but I have all these opinions and I'm like it, should I bother making a video so if y'all are still interested in that even though it's like six months late uh let me know I would be happy to make a video discussing all the things that I think about the the new stuff that's been going on so uh just let me know I I'm happy to make it and here are the ladies I think they look so freaking cute oh my god I really really like how these ones turned out and then for my Dawn of the Dance ladies um getting Frankie all dressed but I know that Dracula was missing some pieces so I wanted to DIY some stuff for her so she could look more like her original doll I find it's really helpful to trim doll hair with tiny nail scissors or just good sharp scissors if you have those styling hair is also helped by having a spray bottle or a spray bottle that has gel that's been super watered down in it. I find that super helpful in the area of doll hair styling, especially for like little curls and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, just use some little scissors, trim it up, be a little hairstylist, have a have a little hairdresser moment. It's it's a lot of fun. I think it's so fun. So for my Donna the Dance Dracula, you know when you get a shopping bag that has like a ribbon handle? Um, I'm pretty sure this is where these ribbons came from. Um, they're like hot pink and kind of the perfect color, so I'm glad I held on to them. I'm definitely like a pack rat in that kind of sense and hold on to random stuff. I have this hat from a Dracula fashion pack that kind of looks like her original one. And for her little cuffs, I'm just taking some pieces of white ribbon and cutting them into this little shape that I'm trying to show here. Then sewing them in half. You could also just glue them if this is not your cup of tea. And then attaching a little dot of glue and a little gem so it looks like her original little cuff. I think it's super cute and it works out quite well. I think her shoes are also from a fashion pack but they look quite similar enough to her old shoes that I don't mind. One day I might repaint her hat but for now it's okay. And I also do the same thing with her collar and give it a little gem so she's all good to go. And here she is side by side with the original. Now let's get into boil washing because I noticed I didn't have this in my video when I first filmed it. So um, I got two Twilas just from my collection here. Uh, this would work best if you first wash their hair out as we discussed. Get some hot boiling water and for this one we're going to straighten her hair. And basically for this you want to just pour the boiling hot water all over it. Um, use rubber gloves so you don't hurt yourself. And with a comb just brush it out to get that nice straight texture that you want dip it in the hot water. Try to keep the scalp out because that will exacerbate the glue seepage. And once you have the smoothness and texture that you want, you're going to take a bowl of ice water and dip her hair in that and then just leave her to dry. Um, I do find putting her on a stand, especially if her hair is long enough to knead it, is helpful. And for dolls that have bangs, they can be really finicky, so I would recommend putting a elastic band over them. If you don't want the indent of the elastic band, I would recommend using a soft scrunchie. And then in the morning, we can take her off her stand. I like to put on their clothes first so I have less chance of messing up the hair after it's done. And I'm just trimming Twyla's bangs with a little bit of nail scissors since they had a little bit of split ends. And using a little bit of watered down gel to make sure that her bangs stay in the correct position. Then kind of straightening out her hair and adding a little bit of gel to that. And then spraying her with water and combing it out some more. Giving her a little bit of a trim. It's kind of just a question of uh, shaping and trimming and squeezing and using gel and water until you get the shape that you would like. And this is how our straightened hair Twyla turned out. I think she looks really quite nice and her hair looks really, really sleek. So yes, that's very great. And now we're on to how to curl doll hair. And this is much more dramatic, but is also a little bit more time intensive. We're starting with freshly washed hair and giving it a nice little comb. Then I'm taking a plastic straw that I've cut into little pieces. And then another piece of the straw that's been kind of cut down the middle with just some scissors and some bobby pins. Some that don't rust are best for this task. We're taking our doll and we're taking out a little section of hair and using the straw that hasn't been cut as like a little roller and just rolling the hair around. Then I take that straw that's been cut in half and use it as a shell over top and then pin it down on the top and the bottom. I'd recommend pinning over the straw as opposed to pinning over the hair if you can. And then just repeating that all over the rest of the hair. This is kind of a therapeutic process, especially if you want to like put on a TV show in the background or something. Um, it's quite fun and I'd recommend kind of starting halfway down the hair, but this is a stylistic preference. I just didn't want the curls to be like coming really from her scalp. I wanted them to be kind of halfway down. 
Once all her hair is in the straws and ready to go, we take our super boiling hot water and pour it over the hair in the straws. As usual, try to avoid the scalp because um, you don't want too much glue seepage, but you do want to kind of dip it in for a couple of seconds. Also making sure to get the bangs. There's no way to avoid the scalp when you're doing this, but you want to brush it out with a toothbrush to get that really nice smooth placement and then dip it in some ice cold water and leave her to dry overnight. So she's been dried overnight looking super cute and I like to get her dressed before I undo the straws again because this will give me a better chance of not messing it up. And once she's all dressed and ready to go, we can remove the straws. If you are really worried about this hairstyle coming out, you can put a little bit of gel on the hair before you take off the inner straw. I don't find this super necessary. You can also use some hairspray when everything's done, but I didn't want it to be like sticky, so we're all good. Basically just remove the bobby pins, slide off the top layer and slide off the inner straw. And as you can see, we get these really cute doll-like curls. I know some people don't like this super precise look, so if you don't, you can definitely like mess it up a little bit or like comb it out. But I personally think that the super tight doll-like curls really, really suit dolls and especially Twyla. It almost gives her this like haunted doll look, which I think is like so great for her character. So this is how she looks before and after. Um, I think super wonderful, big improvement, and I love Twyla with curly hair. Hey friends, I'm back. So everyone is cleaned up and I thought I'd just like go one by one and I'll show pictures side by side of like um, the before and after pictures but I'm pretty happy with everyone so far. They've been sitting here for a couple days because I have to go to work and I got like a little bit distracted. I'll just go from side to side. So Venus looks so much better. Her hair is like perfectly silky and so soft and just like nice and lovely and like Venus hair texture is just like always immaculate in my opinion. Found these really cool big green earrings that I thought suited her kind of nicely. So I added those and I put this shirt on. I know it's probably like a Laguna sleep shirt, but I think it looks really cute with this skirt, especially because I have a lot of Venuses um, already dressed up in their kind of cheerleader outfit, so, I, or ghoul spirit or whatever it is. So I thought it would be cool to kind of like keep the skirt because I like the skirt and maybe do something different with the shirt just so she sticks out from like the rest of them and kept her with her original shoes that she came with, though when I got her, the shoes were just like in the bag. So got them scrubbed, got them on. Really, really pleased with her. Maybe I just need to do a smidge of a hair trim, um, but just like so, so pleased with how like lovely and clean she's looking. Oh, Angel Girl, really happy with her transformation. Next, this Frankie. Um, so I think, oh my God, I think it's I Heart Fashion Frankie. I finally like looked it up. Looks so nice and shiny, squeaky clean. In my opinion, when I picked her up, she was like, Pretty dirty, if you recall. Um, I didn't have proper Frankie hands for both her hands that fit, so she has like one Venus flytrap hand, but that's okay, or Venus flytrap hand, that's okay. I, I stuck her in this outfit that is from, I'll insert the name because I feel really bad for forgetting it, but she just looks like so lovely and clean in my opinion. I need to work a little harder to get this little spot. It's just a little bit sticky and not wanting to come off. She didn't come with shoes, so I found these ones. They're not my favorite. And I just think she looks really, really cute. Does she have leg elastics? Ugh. Doesn't even have leg elastics and legs are really loose. That's weird. Why do her knees look like that? Oh, this is a very strange doll. Um, regardless, <laughs> I'm so happy with like how much better she looks all cleaned up. Really, really proud of that. And just like, yeah, she's precious. She's like a really cute cute Frankie. Next is this Helene. I didn't actually really like the hairstyle that she was supposed to come in originally, so I gave her like little pigtails. I tried to do braids, but the hair was like way too short for me to be able to like properly braid it. So I did the pigtails and like her hair is super, super soft and I think it looks like a lot nicer. The texture is really nice. I honestly, maybe it even looks good by itself just down. I spent so long trying to get it into pigtails, but honestly it's like bothering me a little bit. Yeah. I might do a boil wash on her. If her hair looks extremely straight in her pictures, it's because I did a boil wash. Her hair just looks so much nicer. Um, I didn't have her original outfit or like any good Halloween pieces that really, really worked on her. So I put her in this like Scaris Frankie outfit because it kind of worked and I put her on these Claudine shoes. Next is this Halloween. I'm so pleased with how she turned out. She looks really, really cute. Her hair feels so nice. Love this little outfit, even though I think it's like missing the jacket or something. She looks really precious. Just need to trim like a couple of the, yeah, see? And then it's perfect. Like just, oof, love it, love it. Just get those little loose ends off and it's, she's so pretty. She's like really cute. I didn't think I liked 
Halloween with pink hair very much, but like this Halloween's actually like really precious. The Creepeterio one I could give or take, but the 13 Wishes one is very cute. Okay, Caddy looks lovely. Her hair was pretty messy originally and like, oop, really knotted. So I'm really, really happy with like how silky and straight it looks. She looks so lovely in my opinion. Her hair is like so silky, pop star, straight and smooth, and I really love that. Oh my gosh. Oh, she has like the Rebecca knees where they like bend backwards. Okay, Spectra. This Spectra I think is the one I'm most pleased with. Usually I'm not a fan of mixing and matching doll clothes and pieces and accessories from like different lines and different dolls and stuff, but with Spectra I just forgot the rules, was like, F it, I'm just gonna like try to do whatever I want and she gives me like almost like a corporate goth vibe which <laughs> was kind of what I was like trying to go for um so I think she has Duchess Swan from um Ever After High's earrings in the shirt is originally Rebecca Steam don't know who the bracelets belong to but I'm guessing this one's Ever After High this looks like Raven's Queen's belt and I didn't look it up before but the details are gorgeous there's like a tiny raven skull which I just think is so incredibly cool the skirt is from a create a monster set this um shirt that it originally comes with is like a little bit bulky because it has like this giant gold piece on it that I just like don't think looks very flattering so I thought it like looked nicer with a simpler shirt and I wish I had different shoes um this was like the only <laughs> pair that I had that like kind of worked um I think they're Ari Huntington's don't love them for her but they were like purple enough that they worked but ideally I would have her in a silver heel that matched her earrings and other jewelry but oh my god love the spectra honestly really really pleased with my styling of her. Normally I don't like to like mix, mix and match because I used to do it and then I would like just try to put the dolls in their original clothes and accessories as much as I could and I was like oh yeah this makes sense like because you can see the way like the like their eyeshadow will match their shoes and that it will match their purse and like it's like all the things tie in but it, it can still be fun to try to mix and match but it's like I feel really lucky that I've been able to collect enough pieces that I don't have to that I can have the opportunity to both mix and match and also like try to complete some sets. These girls don't really have a before and after because I was like too excited and already cleaned them up much before this video was conceived of and started, but <laughs> they look great still. Look how gorgeous Torelai looks. Okay, I don't know how much this works for her, but you know how originally she has like this kind of teal accessory thing? I had this extra Jane Boo Little belt and I thought it was kind of the same color, so I tried to do that. I don't know if I'll keep it or if I'll change it. Don't know if it works. I figured like the feathers kind of work because she's a cat. Really pleased with how sleek and shiny her bob looks, even though I'm seeing that I need to trim it just a smidge. I feel really silly for not trimming <laughs> these <laughs> before I started filming. <sighs> or like before this portion of the video. Um, but yeah. I think she looks really, really cute. I ended up putting her in the Cleo Lie shoes because I have so many pairs of Cleo Lie shoes for some reason and they work with this outfit in my opinion because they're black and orange. Uh, and yeah, I tried a, different, a couple different chokers on her but I couldn't find one I liked. I might make her one out of ribbon though or like something small and DIY. A spiked choker would look cool. Oh, so pleased with cleaned up Claudine of the roller skate variety. Too bad this shirt is opening up. I will try to fix that. Love how pretty she looks. Didn't have her original shoes so I put the Laguna roller skate shoes on because they were the closest in color that I had. But I love how cute her hairstyle is. Don't know if this is the original or like close to the original. I don't think it is. But I think it looks cute with like the little side pony and the st pieces sticking out. And Roadster Draculaura. I kind of dressed up in uh, Powder Room Draculaura's outfit because I thought her little flippy do hairstyle was very kind of vintage and retro, which is the same vibe that the nightgown gives me. Kept these really cool shoes on her from a different Dracula doll that I got in this haul because, well, because I didn't have any other Dracula shoes that would suit her and I thought these worked pretty well. And um, yeah, I think she looks pretty cute. Like she's going to get ready for like a little going out date or something. Pretty happy with that Dracula. And then the pride and joy of my collection, or, or of this haul anyway, look how gorgeous and clean. I mean, she was already like perfect when I got her. She didn't have original shoes, I just put these Frankie heels on. I wish they were black and white, I could repaint them, but I think the blue works because blue bracelet and earring and eyeshadow and like little corsety thing, so yeah. 
That's what Frankie looks like. I think it's precious. I think she looks wonderful, except she keeps tipping over on the doll stand. And then Draculaura, I put the most effort into making things for. Thought I was gonna repaint her hat, but because of the shoes that I have, I decided to just keep the hat as is. I was gonna try to repaint it the same as the original, but it kind of works in my opinion. But we'll see in the future if I decide to repaint it. Either way, it was from a fashion pack and it works because it's the exact same mold as her Donna the Dance hat. Um, her choker and cuffs I made out of ribbon with like just like some little gems. Her sash thing is just a big pink ribbon dress. And then the shoes are from a fashion pack and they're basically her Donna the Dance shoes but inverted where like the pink is black and where the black is pink is in the original. I wish I had some earrings for her. I'll definitely have to try to sound scrounge something up but I just can't at the moment, but regardless, oh my god, she looks so pretty. I really love Draculaura in black eyeshadow and black lipstick. It's such an iconic look for her, and if I do say so myself, I think that like the, the little collar thing looks pretty cute. So, I'm very pleased with how everyone turned out. Family picture, ha! Um, yeah! Really, really happy with everyone. That's all I got for now. Hope you enjoyed my little transformation side to side. Um, hope it inspires you to maybe clean up your collection a little bit because it's so fun to like restore dolls and make them look all cute and pretty. And I feel like they appreciate it. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And I hope you have a great rest of the day, night, whatever you're watching. Bye for now. <laughs>